All right, and tonight we are learning more about the hundreds of earthquakes that were detected at Mount Rainier this morning. According to geologists, it is the largest number seen in more than 15 years. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Josh Kozart. Josh, I know you've been doing some digging on this. What can you tell us? Uh, yeah, well, it's really kind of uh, out of the blue, these earthquakes, very unpredictable. And we started to get them earlier this morning, right around 1.30 or so. As we take a live look right now out over Mount Rainier, as all is calm and quiet above our heads, but that was not the case beneath our feet out towards that direction. Still picking up on a little bit of a rumbling of activity as like you mentioned, Liz, it has been 15 years since we have seen this swarm of activity, the largest magnitude earthquake only at about a 1.7, but nonetheless still something to keep a very close eye on. So all of us here at Coin 6 News reach out to seismologists to give us a little bit more insight on exactly why we were seeing all these earthquakes. Take a look. There's always some activity there. Like, it's not at all surprising to see small earthquakes at Mount Rainier. Um, but when there is a little swarm like this, it's of course a little bit more interesting and um, we pay closer attention. Interesting indeed, and you got to keep in mind, it's all of our high mountain peaks that are volcanoes, just like Mount Hood there off in the distance with some building thunderstorms east of the Cascades from earlier today. And those thunderstorms were strong enough to be able to capture lightning from Portland International Airport. Just a spectacular sight here with the losing of the daytime heat and sunshine allowed for the slight show to be put on again out towards the Skamania County area just outside of Carson or so. This was right around 945 when I had our courtyard camera pointed that direction from PDX, really making for quite a nice little surprise this evening as those thunderstorms that are starting to fizzle out as we prepare for clear conditions for the majority of the night. Then we start to increase that cloud coverage. That's going to keep us on a cooling trend as we work our way into Wednesday, but that's not the last round of summer like heat. We'll be discussing when the heat returns along with that thunderstorm potential coming up in just a few minutes. Liz. See you in a bit, Josh. Thank you.